For most of the last century, research by physician scientists has fueled major innovations in healthcare, including many of the vaccines we use today, treatments for cancer and AIDS, and strategies to maintain wellness. But future groundbreaking discoveries are in peril if our country cannot continue to sustain their long career paths without adequate investment in their training. My name is Evan Nock, and I'm Assistant Professor of Neurology within the Division of Neuro-Oncology at Weill Cornell Medicine in New York City. My research focuses on the devastating brain tumor glioblastoma, the same tumor that killed Ted Kennedy, John McCain, and Bo Biden, among many others each year. One of the first questions that patients ask me when they see me in the clinic is, what can they eat to help stop the growth of their tumor? What else can they do other than taking pills to support their health? I use a multi-pronged approach to identify synergistic susceptibilities in glioblastoma metabolism that can be targeted with existing dietary and drug therapies. In effect, repurposing drugs to save time and money in drug development. I rely on governmental and pharmaceutical funding to conduct my work. But because of COVID-19, my work and that of so many others has been delayed or halted altogether. Physician scientists in the US are in critical need of funding to maintain productivity during trying times like these. And the future of the biomedical workforce and scientific innovation is dependent on these resources. We look forward to further conversation about ways to increase funding for physician scientists. Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video and thank you for your continued support of physician scientists. To write your senator or representative, please go to this link. Below the main message, please write, increase support for physician scientists, bridge funding and grants. Thank you.